Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating breakout rooms using a Google Chrome extension. Breakout rooms allow students to communicate and collaborate with each other during an online class. As you can see here, we first separated the students into groups and then we attached a unique Google Meet link for them to collaborate within the room. The alternative to using the method today is manually generating these Google Meet links. However, you won't have the same amount of control as if you use this um, extension that I'm going to be showing you. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the Google Meet extension. It's called Google Meet Breakout Rooms. So once you've done that, you should see that you have an icon in the top right corner here that allows you to open up a new Windows with this Chrome extension. Let's take a look at the extension. The first thing that we'll need to do is create our course or create our class. So let's go into this tab here called courses. And then we're going to go ahead and create another course and we'll call this one test. And same as above, testing purposes. Okay, and don't forget to save. So let's go ahead and save. We'll then go into rooms this allows us to create our breakout rooms. In rooms, you're going to go ahead into your course and choose the course that you're going to be doing. So we're in our test course at the moment. And as you can see, we've got a room already and it's called main. If you use Google Classroom, this main room is going to be the Google Meet link that's attached to your Google Classroom. So let's go ahead into Google Classroom here. And as you can see, we've got a Meet link here. So let's go and copy this in. So just copy and paste. Next, we'll then create our breakout rooms. Just press this plus sign up here, this plus button, and we'll call it Room 1. You can create as many rooms as you want. Once we are finished, the next step is just to press save. This actually allows you to generate these Google Meet links. Alternatively, if you don't use Google Classroom, then you'll just leave these, um, leave these URL positions blank, okay, like this, and then you'll just press save. So then, um, the application knows to automatically generate you new links. So once we've got our links, we can go ahead to start our class. So let's press the Meet tab. In the Meet tab, you've got this control panel over here. The green a rectangle here is going to allow you to toggle between your breakout rooms. And then this blue rectangle down here allows you to broadcast to all your different breakout rooms, which is very, very useful. So let's go ahead to start class and you'll need to choose your course. Our one is test and choose the amount of breakout rooms that you'd like to use. For example, I might just want to use three out of the four breakout rooms that I've created. And once we're happy with that, you can go ahead to open up all of the different Google Meet links. You can choose to just open the main room. You can choose to open just the breakout rooms or you can choose to open both. So we're just going to open both for now to see what this looks like. So out pops all your different new windows with the Google Meet links. Okay, so this is quite useful here. If you don't want to use um, new windows for each meet link, then you can just go to settings. And in settings, you instead of having tiles, which displays your breakout rooms in separate windows, you might like to just use the same window. Okay, so let's go on back to meet. And when we open this up, you'll see that all the different meet links are going to be opening up in one windows, just in separate tabs. Okay, you've got one tab for the main, another for each of the different um, breakout rooms. You can also go and switch off the sound in each of the rooms. You can toggle between each of the rooms here. You can turn on your microphone, your camera, 
and so forth. Alternatively, you can also go ahead and broadcast yourself um, in terms of your voice or your video into all of the different breakout rooms. Okay, so very useful. And I really want to thank Robert Hudeck for creating such an amazing application for us teachers. So the next thing that I'd like to talk about is just how to share your um, Google Meet links with your students. If you'd like, you can go to Assign Breakouts and just copy all of these different um, individual breakout rooms. You can post it into Google Classroom. You can also go and put this into the chat function, which was in your, for example, will open up one of the rooms. You can just go to the chat function and post it in the chat. So over here, chat with everyone, go ahead and post that in. And lastly, I've also created some templates that you might like to use, which displays not only the group that the students are in, but also the Google Meet link. So this is for four groups and this is for five groups. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how you can use breakout rooms within your online teaching. I would love to hear how you are using breakout rooms within your teaching. So please let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye.